Hi, what we're going to do this time around is show you how to record uh, your guitar on two different tracks at the same time using the Shred Guitar Amp Simulator plugin. And um, the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your guitar in, get that working through Mixcraft and your audio interface or however it is that you're connecting. Um, then you want to click File, Preferences. And within the recording section, make sure that this, when recording input is used on more than one track, allow duplicate recording inputs. Make sure you set it to allow. And I am using a Creative EMU 0202, uh, so I'll be using the ACO driver that came with that unit. Click OK. And I've created a uh, track up here to jam along with with the uh, loops from the library in Mixcraft. So what I'm going to do is record my guitar on channels 4 and 5. Now you, you may not quite uh, get why I would want to do that but um, a lot of people record uh, or play their actual amplifiers on a stage in stereo using two different sounds or let's say a chorus that, that alternates between uh, stereo sides. What I'm going to do here is record a quick lead guitar track using basically two different amps. So we're going to pan this uh, track four all the way to the left, pan track five all the way to the right. And I want to arm the uh, track four with left uh, channel, which is uh, input number one on the EMU unit and also make sure that monitor incoming audio is selected and do the exact same thing with channel five track five excuse me monitor incoming audio now I should be able to hear sound from both tracks okay then on the uh, first track select effects and then select the Shred Amp Simulator. And this is a funk kind of song, so I'm going to uh, pick a preset that's not quite so distorted. I um, played around with this Pigs of War, and it sounded pretty good. And on the second audio track, uh, track number five here, I'm going to do the same thing. Choose the Shred Amp Simulator. And I was playing with the almost Texan tush on that one. So now I should have two completely different sounds. And I don't know if you're going to hear that right now in stereo through the video because of the way I have this hooked up so you can hear it as I do it. But uh, just let me record a real short lead riff here and then we'll uh, switch over to the... Uh, other way of recording in stereo. my interpretation of a funk lead. So we'll switch over to the other driver real quick. All right, I've switched over to the wave driver so you can hear both tracks. Uh, what we're going to do next is uh, basically play with the sounds on these two uh, guitar tracks that were recorded simultaneously. So what I want to do is loop and I'm going to solo the two guitar tracks. Let's play it and hear what it sounds like. Okay, you're not going to get the full stereo effect through the video, but uh, remember we have one pan completely left and one pan completely right. Uh, you will hear both. Uh, definitely try this yourself and you'll uh, you'll see what I mean about the stereo effect. It sounds like you have an amp on both sides of the stage. Uh, it's a very cool effect. So what I'm going to do is uh, 
I know I have the preset here, Pigs of War chosen, and I also put an equalizer on there and uh, pulled out the low end on the guitar. So I'm going to basically mess with the second one here and choose uh, different presets and see what sounds good. Let's hit play. Michigan Strangler, I like that, since I'm in Michigan. I also put the equalizer on this track. Um, make it sound a little bit different than the first one. Just EQ'd it a little bit differently. And let's hear what those sound like together. That's pretty good. And uh, to get a... Uh, even better stereo separation I'm gonna show you a trick here make sure your snap up here at the top make sure the snap is off use your mouse wheel zoom way in and separate the two a little bit Let's hear what that sounds like separate it even further Okay, zoom back out, turn off the solo on both tracks, and let's hear what that sounds like. So there you have it. Record two tracks simultaneously and uh, pan one all the way to the left, pan one all the way to the right, and you have a stereo amplifier. Uh, that should give you a lot to play with and some really cool sounds within Mixcraft. And thanks for watching.